Cosplay All Stars. Welcome back to my channel. It's DMT Jamaican, your biggest and brightest shining star. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about Mars in Libra. All right, so Mars in Libra. First of all, this is not if you are a Libra zodiac sign. This video is if you are Mars in Libra. To find out your Mars placement, please go to cafeastrology.com so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now for you people that know you have your Mars in Libra, let's get straight into it. But first of all, don't forget to... All right, so Mars in Libra. Mars, first of all, the planet of Mars is where we derive our masculine energy from. So Mars is all about the masculine energy, drive, ambition, working hard, having um, a deep will to go out and achieve your desires, which is Venus. Um, Mars is all about work. It's all about sex. It's all about the domination of life and the duality between light and dark is the Mars sign your mars sign tells you how you interact with going about life and how you get things done so if you know your mars sign it also tells you how you are in um, bed as well but we will get to the good stuff now mars in libra libra is a air sign libra is a cardinal air sign so that means you are the type of people you love harmony you love to first of all mars is in detriment here mars doesn't like mars in libra mars does mars does not like to be in libra because mars is just about going out and getting to it you know going out and just being about action and you know um with libra here though the energy of mars slows down a bit it's more cerebral meaning it's more in the mind like you are more a person that you have to think about what it is that you're about to do you're not the type of person that makes fast and rash decisions you're more so um to yourself like in in a sense that you see other people's perspective of everything and when you do go out and you want to achieve something um it's more you think about the options and you think about how it's going to affect you so having mars in libra it's a little bit hard because mars like i said just wants to go out and get things done but having mars in libra you're more so um you you want to see the beauty and everything and you want when you're working on something because mars deals with how we work mars and libra people when they work they work very diligently like they they do things that make sense you know having the energy of venus here helps for mars to carry on a more feminine trait so mars here is a little bit more passive um, I know if you ever watch a Mars and Libra video, a lot of people say you're passive, you're passive aggressive. Um, you're the type of person, you don't like arguments because, you know, Mars deals with aggression and it deals with conflict as well. You know, just think about the typical, stereotypical macho man. When you have Mars and Libra, you're more so, um, you want to talk things out and this is how you get your way you know this is your mars energy you talk and you use your finesse or you use your ability to communicate um in an effective way for you to get things done now mars being in this placement like i said um mars does not like to be here it's in detriment so your um, willpower and your drive is not so um, action oriented like I said it's more in the mind it's more about and I'm repeating myself because I want you to understand what I'm where I'm coming from and like where this energy like resonates from um, you don't like quarrels you don't like arguments you don't like fighting with people you don't like um, stepping on people's toes and you always want to like make sure that um, when you help someone, you help them and it's fair for you and the other person. Um, you're just a very balanced and overall 
balanced person. You know, when you talk about Libra, you talk about balance. And that's literally, it's a sign of the scales. So having Mars in Libra and it being in detriment, it's in detriment because you have to think so much about your actions and how you're going to go out and not, not necessarily your action, but your drive, you know, like Mars is about like the fire in you, like what is going to, um, so it's more slow down. Like you, 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 you have to process it more. Um, you have to think it's kind of like Taurus. Um, I have Mar I have my Mars in Taurus, so I can sympathize with having Mars in Libra because we're ruled by the same planet. These are the type of people that's motivated to work in partnerships. Um, let's start, let, like, let's get on that because um, Mars in Libra, that's the real detriment is because you feel like you, you, you have this thing where you're okay with depending on someone else. And you're okay with um, teaming up with other people. And sometimes like, Mars is at home. Mars is in detriment here because it likes to be in Aries. And Aries is the complete opposite of Libra. So Libra, I mean Aries, when you think about those characteristics, what do you think? You think of the the, the entrepreneur, the leader, the, the person that's um, me first. They're all about themselves. They'll go out and they'll get it done by themselves. So the Mars in Aries um, or Aries energy um, is where Mars likes to be. And it just, it, it can go out and do everything. But Libra is not about the self. It's about other. And that's the opposition. It's about when you work on something, you want to work on it with a partner. You want to be married. You want to be in a relationship. You want to have business partners business relationships like you want to be able to talk to other people about um what's going on so uh and i know people that have this they're very romantic people um they like texting you know they like communicating with other people they like planning things and partnering up you know having a home together you know like creating something you know that that's going to last and creating something that makes sense and that's you know um creating something with someone else you know these are the type of people like if you, if they if you want to be married or you know like just have a great business partner or be in a partnership like this type of person or this energy um of libra um um definitely always brings its benefit when it comes to relationships and Mars, like I said, is in detriment because, like I said, it's at home in Aries and Aries is opposite of Libra. So that's what's causing this friction um, of this energy. So Mars is more slowed down. You have to think about other people. Um, when you make decisions in life, you probably have other people you have to think of first before you make a move. Like, say, even if you want to relocate somewhere um, or you just... Mars is about getting things done. Even you have to get something done, you're with this energy. You have to um, think of other people first, and other people could or could not be in your way. Um, people could be in your way all the time. Like you may feel like they're in your way. Um, you may feel like you know, like oh damn, I gotta think about this, and so it kind of brings. Um, this burden but it's more on a mental level like and um, it depends on how this energy really plays out because it could be affected um, depending on other conjunctions or any other aspects that you have in your chart so this energy can play out differently um, but for the most part Mars in Libra um, in the bedroom, you guys are more, you more get sexually turned on by like the mind and everything starts in the mind for you. Like you need to have a mental connection with someone in order to even feel like sexually attracted to them. Like it's like, oh, if we're not connecting up here, then it's kind of like, oh, we're not really connecting at all. And that's just Mars in Libra and the energy that um, Mars in Libra carries. Um, but these people are good, like I said, for um, working on building something, but it takes them time and it takes them a lot of 
time to figure things out. They're very indecisive. And they like to weigh out their outcome. Like, they like to see how something is going to happen before they act on it. And so that's the overall basic detriment. Because like I said, Mars just wants to go and get it done right now. And it's the man. Like, it, you know. Um, so, yeah. I've, I really like um, this placement. Because, I, like I said, I sympathize with not having a great Mars sign. Um, cause it's in Taurus for me in the sixth house, but it's all right. Cause it's in the sixth house, but just still like, um, a person th that opportunities or there may be obstacles in your way that you have to think of others first before you act and before you, um, go out and do what you want. So that's the only thing about having Mars in Libra, that would be annoying. So you like to please other people. So sometimes you may like even other people could like not bully you in a way, but other people could dominate you um, easily because you're you're more passive. You're more like going with the flow, and you're like sacrifice like how you feel and how you truly see something just for the sake of keeping the peace and keeping things you know even and balanced and harmony harmonious in your life like you may think oh all right if i just if i just put up with this relationship and da, 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 and you know like you won't really assert your will um you you you're the you're more so like all right i see where they're coming from like that kind of person and like i said mars is not about that mars in aries or scorpio don't care whose toes they have to step on in order to get to where they're going and um mars in libra is definitely like that so you 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 don't want to touch you don't want to step on no one's toes or nothing but you're good when it comes to um like business wise or like working like uh anything that deals with um bringing beauty to something like um art or like a home or you know like a nice like energy where things flow naturally like you know like you're whatever workplace you're in or whatever business or whatever you do it's always going to be something that you have to bring harmony to the situation and you're very good at talking up your business and talking up um what you want to do you're, you're a great communicator like you talk up um everything like you could promote yourself very well you could finesse your way and when i say finesse i mean like this when you don't have a really great mars sign but you, and so you have to use your own powers in that own energy for mars and libra you have to use your energy to like manipulate people good or bad like and i know i met a lot of libras that are like this like they whatever whatever you like <laughs> that's my favorite quote right now whatever you like it's like you you just mm -hmm, like y'all could just talk your way into just something being you talk your way out of situations and you talk yourself into situations like i said it's an air sign it's about communication and so Mars and Libra, even though they, it's mental um, for them, it, they still communicate out in the open to share information across to get to what they want to do. So Mars and Libra people, um, not saying that you're manipulative in a bad way, but just saying just the word just means you're able to change, um, manipulate uh, upon your own will. Like you're able to create something and... Um, in your own way and yeah you know you use your words and you use you use your mental strategies to get things done and yeah like i said y'all don't like arguments y'all don't like fights y'all don't like none of that you like romance you're very romantic like to talk you you love people to have manners that put themselves 
together very well you don't like cursing and all that it's just a huge turn off for you honestly you don't like to date and this mars and libra video as you notice i've not talked about female or male because the energy is balanced like this is a this video if you have mars and libra and you're a girl or a guy you're gonna resonate to it regardless if i specifically say oh the guys are like this or the women it's like because when you're dealing with libra you gotta deal with venus and venus um knowing how to give beauty and balance to um things in life and scenarios and situations so when the energy of venus and mars comes together it's much um it, it, it's more of an internal um thing you have to deal with with this energy like you got to think a lot about what it is that you're actually doing and yeah so that's pretty much what i have for this video very informative video about mars in libra if you have any questions or comments about mars and libra if you have mars and libra please tell me what sign please tell me how you've been dealing with this energy i would love to learn more and other people will as well if you watch all the way to the end and you really ain't got much if you watch all the way to the end and you ain't got much to say just go ahead and spam me some star emojis because you guys are my all-stars and i love that we can have very open conversations about energy and life and what really be going the fuck on on a day-to-day -day basis so thank you guys so much don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you have been subscribed to my channel thank you so much you guys literally don't know how cool you are to be subscribed to my channel that's the narcissist in me but not for real you guys i love you guys so much and i'm just glad i'm able to give you guys knowledge and entertainment at the same time so yeah smash the like button comment down below subscribe to the channel um hit me up email me we can talk about astrology we can talk about charts and everything and yeah that's pretty much what i have i'll see you guys in another one right all right Mwah. peace